everyone. These are baby toddler matching activities for children ages 15 months to 36 months. But if you have a child who has never done any matching activities and they are past 36 months, you can also do these activities with them as well. These activities help children develop vocabulary and matching skills. Matching is a precursor to sorting and sorting is a precursor to math. These exercises also help develop visual discrimination. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how you would introduce these matching activities to a child. So you will lay out the cards and these cards are laminated. You can get these cards for free on my blog. I will post a link on the description box. And you want to start telling the child the names of the items on the cards. Ball. Car. Apple. Dog. Then you want the child to start pointing. Pointing comes before matching. The child should be able to know how to point. So then have the child point. Where is the apple? Where is the car? Where is the ball? Where is the dog? You can take it one step further and have the child tell you the names of the objects on the cards if they can speak. What is this? Apple. What is this dog? And so on. Then you want to move on to matching. Give them the card and say, this is a ball. Can you find the ball? Can you put this on the ball? Where is the ball? Dog, can you find the dog? Apple, can you find the apple? Car, can you find the car? And when you're first starting out with these activities, you may want to start off with two at first, and then move on to three, and then four, and then maybe five, and so on as the child progresses. Here we have an activity for the child to learn their primary colors. You want to start off with blue, red, and yellow before you introduce other colors. So here we have these index cards. And these are just index cards that I took and I took a crayon and colored them in. I laminated them as well. If you don't have a laminator, you can check out my webpage and I recommend a really good one that I use for my activities. So here we do the same thing. We go over the names of the colors. Blue, red, yellow, where is yellow? Where is blue? Where is red? And so on. And you want to have them start matching. And if they can speak, they can tell you the names. This is yellow. Can you find yellow? This is blue. Can you find blue? This is red. Can you find red? Okay, let's move on to the three basic shapes. Essentially did the same thing. I took index cards and I drew the shape here. And I colored it in black. I chose black because I wanted to create a good contrast for the child to be able to focus on the shapes and, on, and not be distracted by colors. So that is very important for you to have um, high contrast when you are teaching shapes because you want the child to be able to focus on the shapes and not the colors. So here we have the other set and you want to go over the same thing. This is a circle, triangle, square. Where's the triangle? Where's the circle? 
Where's the square? Now, if they can speak, they can go ahead and tell you the names. Now you can go on to matching. This is a square. Can you find the square? This is a triangle. Can you find the triangle? This is a, a circle. Can you find the circle? And on the back here, I have the names of the shapes. When the child gets older and they can read, you can use these cards as flashcards and you can play other games with these as well. You can also play memory games with these. You can lay out um, three different cards or four, depending on the ability of your child, or five or six. And then you say the names of the objects and items on the cards. Dog, apple, car. If the picture is see-through, you may want to back it up with some cardboard so that the child cannot cheat. Where is the dog? No, that's not it. There it is. Where's the car? Oh, that's not where it was. Here it is. And where's the apple? Here it is. So that's another game that you can have um, to help develop memory. I hope these activities were helpful. You can download these picture cards from my blog. I will post a link on the description box. For more educational toys and activities, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.